What's up guys? Since I almost missed the September Q&A, we're answering some questions today instead of a regular whiteboard video. And there were so many questions that I will be doing an Instagram live stream tonight. I don't know what time, 7, 8, 9 p.m., but I will leave it up so you can check it out if your question was not answered in this video. Instagram.com slash Frank Tefano. Is it safe to drink reverse osmosis water as main source? Is this talk about leaching minerals from your body true? How about adding minerals back in with high quality land salt? Thanks. Uh, you won't necessarily leach minerals from your body. The problem is reverse osmosis water has all of the minerals removed, but still contains a ton of negative chemicals. I don't really recommend it unless just for cooking or cleaning. Even so, if you're putting it in your body, you want it to be like a glass bottled mineral water or from a local well or spring and adding salts back in is just really sodium, you're not putting minerals back in. Is plastic bottled spring water an issue if it's bottled locally and kept cold? What about plastic jugs with a filter? Been waiting almost four years for temporary chlorination to end in my city. Uh, so that depends on the type of plastic used and the general answer is no. Yeah, after a plastic bottle or jug has been used several times, most of the plastic has probably leached out already and you mentioned if it's kept cold, yeah, you don't want sunlight or anything heating up the plastic because then even if it has already leached, it will start to leach again. But if it's a fresh plastic container, certainly not. And like Poland spring bottles, anything you buy in the supermarket is a definite no-go. Always use glass or something else to be safe. Due to the fact that water kefir decreases anti-nutrients, do you think it would be good to soak and maybe sprout grains and legumes in water kefir? Uh, it, it might reduce the anti-nutrient content, but it wouldn't taste tolerable to most people. Uh, you know, water kefir is delicious on its own, but it's not a good flavor component for rice or bread. It's like adding Coca-Cola to your brown rice. Does glycemic index matter? I read that baked potatoes spike blood sugar faster than, say, boiled potatoes. Is GI something you're concerned with? Uh, so I always like actually seeing how I feel when I eat something as opposed to looking at paper value stuff because there have been things that are ideally perfect and then you eat them and you don't feel so good. And you're also consuming fats and proteins with that potato as well. You know, you're not just eating a plain boiled potato. You're going to have steak with butter to slow down the digestion and even everything out. You talk about how much we're lacking K2 in our modern diets. Does water kefir have a significant K2 content? Is it enough for maintenance at least? Uh, so water kefir will populate your gut microbiome so that your body can start making its own K2. And I'm not sure about the actual K2 content of the water kefir itself. Either way, you still want a supplement to be safe, at least initially after you kind of learn a bit about K2, MK4, MK7, all the different types. My father suffered a hemorrhagic stroke two years ago that left him with hemiplegia. When we asked the doctors for a diet that would lower his blood pressure and help him recover, they recommended the standard lots of fruits and vegetables, low fat diet. What diet would you recommend for stroke patients or for stroke prevention? High quality organic diet, no eggs, no dairy, mainly because of sourcing concerns and probably need to supplement specific B vitamins and minerals initially. The doctors recommend that type of diet because the conventional animal products and processed foods have so many chemicals and crap in them, that's why you get the stroke in the first place. So instead of explaining how to do an actual high quality diet, they just say what to avoid to make things slightly better instead of fixing the problem through diet. However, before even addressing diet, I would certainly lower uh, the Wi-Fi radiation levels, EMF levels in your father's environment because you know, the displacement of calcium and just the way that radiation affects the body is a higher risk factor for stroke than diet itself. Would you recommend any alterations to your food pyramid for someone still going through development? Uh, so I believe I said in that video that you should just increase the amount of animal protein uh, to appetite before moving on to carbs and fats. I would say more dairy and meat, especially milk and steak. You know, you want to make sure your children or if you're old enough to understand diet as a teenager, that most cells, especially bone in the body, is actually made up of animal protein, not things like calcium. So that's what you need to grow. Are you not concerned that pure glucose powder might negatively disrupt the gut microbiome? Uh, yeah, but I've been able to consume insane amounts of it without issues. 
you know, well over 100 grams of sugars worth of the flextrose in one cup. And I react better to that amount of pure glucose than 20 to 30 grams from honey or fruit. You know, the body can utilize pure glucose so much more effectively. And even if I do get a little bit of overgrowth, you know, even in my mouth, I just end up drinking water kefir with my meal later and it just goes away. But you know, as I've said several times when taking that, you don't want to just you know, drink 100 grams of sugar and then sit down. It's, you want to stay moving or do something. What's your opinion on grounding mats? Do they work as far as blocking the effects of EMF? Uh, so the bed canopy that I sell actually comes with a grounding wire and I do sell grounding straps on Wi-Fi shielding.com. Grounding, however, has no effect on mitigating EMF. And to actually ground yourself, you need to be in a low EMF environment as the earth you're on or the earth that you ground to will absorb nearby EMF sources. It's why I don't ground in my house, which has, you know, neighbors pretty close in the suburbs or in the city especially. Only when I drive a bit away into a rural farm area or like I'm hiking on a trail. The reason the bed canopy is grounded is because you don't have to actually be touching the bed canopy and ground yourself. You know, it's, it's grounded to not hold radiation inside. It's different than actually grounding your physical body, which is connecting yourself to an electrical source being the earth but that electrical source, as I said, becomes tainted in city or unnatural environments. Hey Frankie, is the Berkey water filtration system good? Will it successfully rid fluoride and other toxins? No, although Berkey is convenient and better than nothing, it does not compare to reverse osmosis plus distillation, both of which need to be combined for showering or cleaning water. I still don't recommend drinking those or uh, cooking with them. Does water kefir have a significant amount of vitamin C? It may have a small amount, but it's anti-scorbutic because it is a raw food and doesn't stress the body's vitamin C stores, gives you bacteria to digest and process cooked food, cooked food you know, requiring vitamin C to process. So drinking water kefir greatly reduces the body's need for vitamin C. Any update on tips to mitigate acne with your current diet? Uh, so just by drinking properly made water kefir with every meal, I don't really break out, maybe a few zits per week. And then if I make sure to hydrate in the morning with mineral water and shower every single day, I don't break out at all. Are chlorine fumes during a hot shower dangerous? <laughs> uh, listen, some of you guys may be laugh. Are chlorine fumes dangerous? <laughs> yes, uh, but you can get like a 20 or $30 shower filter that will reduce the amount of, of chlorine. I mean, you know, take a shorter shower See, see how high the levels are, contact your local water company. And there have been a lot of water questions today. And I've covered all of these questions in past videos that I have done on water. So you should definitely check those out. Why are the elite hell bent on making us sick? Are they really keeping us malnourished on purpose? When people are sick and poisoned, they don't succeed in life and are much easier to control. And I've even seen like, these shills and undercover people try to gaslight the public and say, oh, what if they know what's good for you? What if it's for your own good? It's, it's, it's hilarious. They want to stay in power and they don't want competition. My sister is feeding my niece infant formula. What do you suggest as a good alternative? Uh, so I think I, I've covered uh, what to actually do, like uh, go to a local milk bank or try to find a friend. The problem is it, the mothers generally aren't on a good diet, so even if you are getting breast milk, it might not be perfect. Uh, I've seen people comment on my channel in other countries that the quality of breast milk over there is much better. I don't really know where to look, maybe Denmark or Sweden, and see if you can import any products to the U.S. So that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. I think we did maybe 15 or 20 questions, but there were about 90 that, you know, as I mentioned, I will be answering on the live stream on Instagram tonight. A uh, lot of stuff about water kefir, a lot of stuff about Wi-Fi EMF. You can see all my businesses on frank com. The water kefir is available on Frankie's Free Range Foods. And we do have clothing and a bunch of different products available on wi fi shielding.com. Uh, so if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining me, guys. And I will see you for tomorrow.